Welcome to Math with Professor V. Here is your latest integral of the day. We have indefinite integral of the natural log of x squared minus x plus 2 dx. Go ahead, pause the video if you want to try it on your own. This one is great because it requires just a little bit of everything. So here we go. No surprise, we're going to start off using integration by parts. That's, I would say, what you do 99% of the time when you see a natural log in your integral. So I'm going to let you be natural log of x squared minus x plus 2, and then dv is dx. So derivative of natural log x squared minus x plus 2, you could just do this little shortcut if you haven't figured it out yet. We know derivative of natural log something is 1 over the something. So I'm just going to put the x squared minus x plus 2 in the denominator and leave the numerator open because we have to apply the chain rule and multiply by the derivative of the argument of what's inside the something. So the derivative of x squared minus x plus 2 is 2x minus 1. And then don't forget we've got this dx over here. And then v would just be x. Great. Now using our biparts formula, we're going to have uv, so that's going to be x natural log x squared minus x plus 2 minus integral v du. So I'm going to take this x and already distribute it through the numerator, 2x minus 1, to get the ball rolling. So we'll have 2x squared minus x over x squared minus x plus 2 dx. Beautiful. And now we're happy with how things are headed because I no longer have a natural log in the integrand. Perfect. I just have this rational function, and always remember, if the degree of the denominator is not higher than the degree of the numerator, we need to long divide first. And then from there, we'll figure out what to do. So I'm going to divide x squared minus x plus 2 into 2x squared minus x. We have to do long division because the denominator is higher than degree 1. Okay. Okay. So just think to yourself, what do I multiply x squared by to make it 2x squared? Why? 2. And then you distribute that through the divisor, what you're dividing by, and we're going to have 2x squared minus 2x plus 4. I subtract that from the row up above. So 2x squared cancels. Negative x minus negative 2x gives me positive x, and then I have minus 4. And at this point, my long division is over. There really wasn't a whole lot going on. I can't multiply x squared by anything to make it x, right? This degree is now lower than the degree of the divisor, so all of this is my remainder. So then the result from long division is that we have a quotient of 2 plus, put your remainder, x minus 4 over the divisor, x squared minus x plus 2. And don't worry, if you forgot polynomial long division, I have a video on it. So I'll link it in the description. Beautiful. From here, let's rewrite the integral and determine how to proceed. So x natural log x squared minus x plus 2 minus integral. This is going to be 2 plus x minus 4 over x squared minus x plus 2 dx. Now, sadly, from here, we can't do partial fractions because... Notice this polynomial, this quadratic expression, does not factor. Womp womp. So what do we do when the denominator doesn't factor? We don't sit around and feel sorry for ourselves. No, we're going to complete the square, and then from there we'll split things up and proceed accordingly. So in order to complete the square in the denominator, we need to make it a perfect square trinomial. So x squared minus x plus, what would I need to have a perfect square trinomial? Take the coefficient on x, divide it by 2, and then square it. I would need a 1 fourth. Well, do I have that? Kind of. Here's 2, which is 8 fourths. So if I steal 1 fourth from 2, it's now 7 fourths. You see? Good. Then this will factor into x minus 1 half quantity squared plus 7 fourths. Now, for a moment, I know this doesn't seem like it's getting better, but it is. Believe me, just hang tight. So we've got x natural log x squared minus x plus 2 minus integral 2 plus x minus 4 over 
x minus 1 half quantity squared plus 7 over 4 dx. Now I told you we're going to do some other techniques at this point. So the first thing we're going to do is make a substitution and let a new variable. I already used up u, so let me say let's let t be x minus 1 half quantity squared plus 7 fourths. Why, why am I thinking that's going to be useful? Well, notice this is degree 2 in the denominator. This is degree 1 in the numerator. So that's looking good, right? I feel like a substitution along this lines is going to take me places. So here we go. dt, just use the chain rule, is going to be 2 times x minus 1 half to the first dx. So let's see, that means 1 half dt is x minus 1 half dx. Oh shoot, we almost have that. Instead of x minus 1 half, I have x minus 4. So I'm going to fix it so that this numerator matches and is x minus 1 half so I can go ahead and do this substitution. So watch. And I'm just going to rewrite everything so I don't lose anybody, you know. It's like sometimes you get so into it and you stop writing the whole problem and then you've just lost some stuff. So plus... We have x over x minus 1 half squared plus 7 over 4. Let me do it this way. Minus 4 over, mm -hmm. I'm just splitting the x and the negative 4, and you'll see what's going to happen right now. Don't worry. Okay, what do I want in the numerator here so that this substitution works out? I want x minus 1 half, so I'm going to go add it. Okay, I added an extra negative 1 half. But I can't just go willy-nilly putting negative one-halves in my integral when they weren't there to begin with. So to compensate, I'm going to have to, that's right, add one-half back, okay? Now be careful here, be careful here, because there's this minus sign. So if I put plus one-half, I'd actually be subtracting another one-half. So really what I need to do is, that's right, minus a one-half. Are we okay? All right, good. So let me break this up into three integrals, actually. This is number one, the most relaxing. That'll be two, and this will be three. So here we go. Integral number one, two dx. That one's easy. Two x plus c1. Integral number two, x minus one half over x minus one half squared plus seven fourths dx. Remember, I had the substitution set up right here for that guy. Let me copy it down for you. Okay, so the whole denominator is going to be t. And then x minus 1 half dx, x minus 1 half dx, that just equals 1 half dt. Perfect. So now I have 1 half integral dt over t. Wow, relaxing. 1 half natural log absolute value of t. I'm going to say plus c2 because I want to save plain old c for the very end. And then this is going to be 1 half natural log absolute value. Who was t? It was x minus 1 half squared plus 7 fourths plus c2. Now, we don't need to keep this argument so ugly. We completed the square to help us integrate. But, you know, it looks so much better if we multiply it all out. And I don't need absolute value because x squared minus x plus 2, we know that's never negative. It didn't have any uh, real zeros. So we're good. Second baby integral's done. Last one is over here. Minus 4 minus 1 half. So that's going to be negative 7 halves. That's right. Okay, so integral number 3 coming in hot negative 7 halves over, and then same denominator as the last integral, x minus 1 half squared plus, and then 7 fourths, I want you to think of it as red, rad 7 over 2 squared. Oh me, oh my, dx. Now at this point you could trig sub, or hopefully you just recognize we don't need to. Antiderivative of 1 over x squared plus a squared dx is 1 over a tan inverse x over a plus c. So in this case, look, this rad 7 over 2 is my a. 
And then I know this isn't plain old x, it's x minus 1 half, but it's not going to do much. If you want to do a substitution, you can, but you'll just notice as long as you just keep this x minus 1 half, you're good to go. And then just, you know, pay no mind to this negative 7 halves. He's not bothering anybody. Just keep him along for the ride and he's good to go. So we've got negative 7 halves, okay? Then outside, we need 1 over a. So 1 over rad 7 over 2 is just the reciprocal, 2 over rad 7. And then we have tan inverse. Remember, instead of plain old x, it's x minus 1 half over rad 7 over 2 plus c3. Woohoo! Things are going fabulously. These cancel, and then negative 7 over rad 7, that's just negative rad 7, tan inverse. Now here's a fabulous thing that's gonna happen. This two, if I divide by a half, right, that's gonna multiply by two up in the numerator. So I'm gonna be left with two X minus one over rad seven. And you know, you're not in algebra anymore. You need not be so paranoid when you have a radical in the denominator. We're gonna leave it, it's fine, it's totally fine. So let's put it all together and then see what we got. So all together now, Remember we had that x ln x squared minus x plus 2 hanging out. And then I actually have to subtract all three of these. Do you remember that there's this minus sign here? So I'll have minus 2x minus this and then plus this last result, okay? So just be careful with those signs. So we have minus 2x minus 1 half natural log x squared minus x plus 2 plus rad 7 tan inverse 2x minus 1 over rad 7 plus c. And then we got to tell the people c is c1 plus c2 plus c3. And then I would say, hmm, we could clean up just a wee bit more. Notice these both have natural log x squared minus x plus 2. So why don't we write it all as x minus 1 half, like almost factor out, if you want to think of it that way, the natural log x squared minus x plus 2, and then minus 2x plus rad 7, tan inverse 2x minus 1 over rad 7 plus c. Voila. How was that? They're going to do an integration B um, where I teach soon, so... If you're prepping for it <laughs> or prepping for an integration B uh, in your location, I think this is a nice one. I don't know how they run it where you're at, but uh, they just do like elimination rounds. I think this one's good because if you've seen something similar, then you know the procedure. If you haven't seen it, you just got to practice. And I think this is a fun one because it really just tests so many of your different skills with integration, with algebra, a ton of stuff, right? Okay, let me know if you did it differently. I doubt it though. Maybe someone trig subbed at the end, but nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe. Please leave me a comment down below. Share it with your friends. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Math with Professor V. I'll be back sooner than later. Bye.